Hey, this is Eric with Project 130R. Um, today's video is going to be a little different than our usual format. Uh, it's been a very long day. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm sweaty and dirty, but I don't care. I'm really excited because um, we have something kind of new going. Um, it's an idea that we talked about for a while. Uh, we weren't quite sure if we wanted to go this direction. And then this year, 2024, um, it kind of became pretty clear to us that um, this is something that we wanted to do and uh, branch out into. Um, and so we decided to get into a more regular role of buying and fixing up and preserving and ultimately sometimes selling um, the very best Honda and Acura examples that we could find. And so I wanted to stop real quick on the way home before we got back to the shop and introduce you to our new car. This is our newly acquired Honda Civic SI. It's a 2000. I believe the kids call that an EM1. And uh, it's in really nice shape, but it does need some work to, done to it. So we're gonna get that done and see how nice we can make this car. Hopefully very close to perfect. That's our goal. Here we are on the freeway. The Civic Si, yet another Honda with a hole in the exhaust. Who'd know? Who would have thought, right? But that's the thing. We knew we weren't buying a perfect car, um, but it's a good starting point, and so we're gonna make something special out of it. See how close we can get it to perfect. Okay, this is our very first walk around of the car as we got it. Um, so it's got bugs and road dirt on it and what have you, but. Uh, Overall, it's in pretty nice condition. Um, I would not call it a perfect car. Very, very few cars in this world are actually perfect and need nothing. So let's take a closer look up here, uh, starting on the driver's side. The pinstriping you can see here is, it's a little bit faded and worn, um, especially once you get around the driver door here. So we're, a good chance we're gonna have our body shop take that off and either reapply a new one or just leave it off one of the two. The wheels are not in terrible condition. There's a few little kind of scratches and dings if you get up close. Um, you can see a little bit of road rash. One of the wheels will need um, total reconditioning because it has some gouges taken out of it, but that's that's part of the business. Uh, here, the, the belt molding here, the sash molding, whatever you want to call it, that's going to need um, replacing. I think you can still buy those new, so that's not too bad. Uh, the wipers, you may notice, are already gone. I dropped them off um, or sent them off with the... Uh, He's gonna refinish the wipers for us, so that'll be uh, taken care of. And then here on the back wheel, again, a little bit of, of curb rash and a little bit of wear, nothing too crazy. Um, inside the door, the gas door, that's sometimes an area that'll, if there's a problem starting, sometimes it'll start in there, but that actually looks pretty clean, so nicely done. Here in the rear tail light, you can see there's a couple little cracks uh, going on in here. So we'll probably end up getting a new one of those. And then on the rear bumper, something that wasn't really disclosed very well in the listing, which that's gonna kind of become a theme with cars like this. Um, there's a bunch of different gashes and some touch up paint going on, a lot of discoloration and different scratches and dings. So probably the rear bumper and the front bumper, which you'll see in a minute, will probably have to go off and get repainted so they uh, look a lot better. Something else you notice that's common with these cars is the kind of the rear bumper sag going on here on the driver's side um, but we have a fix for that so that'll pull the gap close and be nice and tight like the way it left the factory inside the trunk is fairly clean there's a few parts the seller left in there but um, the carpet's a little a little wrinkly maybe but we'll get that straightened out so it looks much better that's a little better look at the rear you can see some of the imperfections in the bumper the tailpipe needs a whole lot of polishing that is filthy. On the passenger side, um, this is the wheel that probably would need the most attention. They got some gashes, like almost chunks taken out of it right here. So we're probably gonna end up with a new wheel perhaps, but we'll uh, find that out. The day codes on these tires are date back to 2015, uh, which is nine years ago now. So we will end up putting new tires on this car too, even though there's quite a bit of tread left on them. So this car didn't get driven a whole lot once the tires were put on. The rest of the paint on this side is really nice. The roof, there's no paint fade. Everything's in really good shape. Except for the belt molding again, we'll have to replace the one on this side too. Then around the front, the hood itself is pretty good, but the bumper, again, this isn't something that wasn't, was really pointed out in the listing description at all. You have a few little knocks here, not quite dense, but like indentations, I guess I'd call them. 
where something hit it just hard enough to make little spider webs in the paint, which is really frustrating because then we have to send this whole bumper cover off to the paint shop. So we'll uh, end up doing the front and the rear bumper and respraying them both so they come back as perfect. But that really should have been pointed out in the listing description to give us a better idea of the car's condition. But unfortunately, that's all too common these days. I will say one cool thing is the seller did include a set of factory fog lights, which are pretty rare for this car, as I understand it, um, including the harness and the switch. So when we have the bumper off to repaint it, we'll just get the fog lights installed at the same time. The inside's in pretty nice shape. This door panel has a weird funky gap to it and it rattles. So I suspect that some of the bunch of the clips are missing and it's not fastened on all the way. Um, but I mean, the panel itself is in really nice shape. Um, the rest of the interior is pretty good, all things considered. Uh, there's a few little imperfections here. Let's get a closer look. Top of the steering wheel has a bunch of wear on it and the leather, so we're either gonna have to try and repair that somehow or just put a new steering wheel in, um, which is a shame because like the airbag and the horn buttons are, are in really nice shape. Uh, the mileage, 92766, is a couple hundred more than, than when we left earlier in the day. We got this from a uh, uh, few states away. Buttons and the dash are all in really nice shape. The dash doesn't have any cracks in it. No real imperfections there. There's not hardly any wear on the buttons, which is nice. Uh, the shifter is kind of worn out and it doesn't have, it's supposed to have the baseball stitching on the shifter. So we'll get ourselves a new, a brand new shift knob and put that on before we sell the car. One thing we did notice with the shifter um, in this, so right now it's in first and it's just sitting parked. But if you move this thing side to side, like that's insane. That's a couple inches just about of play in there. So there might be some sort of pin bushing or something um, that needs to be replaced at the base of the shifter to get it because that's there's a whole lot of slop in there So we need to get that nice and tight like it's supposed to be from the factory There's one lonely floor mat. I kid you not one mat came with the car I don't know where the other three are so we're gonna have to source a whole new set of floor mats <laughs> You can't sell a car with just one floor mat on the not so great side You have stuff like this which is the passenger side sun visor the fabric is kind of coming loose a bit and there's stains and tears all through it so we'll have to find ourselves a new sun visor these are not available from the dealership anymore so we're gonna have to find another light gray what the world anyways another light gray passenger side sun visor for this car that's in new or nearly new condition and kind of the same goes for there's burn holes here in the headliner we've got imperfections in the seat but the biggest one of all is here in the rear seat where there's things almost the size of a dime. But we'll find a good solution and uh, get it looking right. As far as driving the car, um, I didn't make a whole lot of video on the way. There's a hole in the exhaust, you can tell. It's pretty loud. So uh, I believe the seller said it was in the B pipe. So we'll get a new um, pipe on there and check out the whole rest of the other side, make sure everything's pretty squared away. It did look pretty clean underneath when we took a look, but you know, we haven't put the car up on a lift or anything to, to get a, a great look. So we'll take a look for ourselves. Of course, the check engine light went on during the handoff process and the seller swears up and down that in the however many years he owned it, that never happened. So of course it didn't. Get down here a little bit on this mat. Uh, the pedal pads probably maybe could use one or two new ones. Um, there's a stage three clutch. I don't know exactly what kind in this car. Um, and you can tell when you push the clutch pedal down, it's. It's definitely a, a aftermarket performance style clutch, but the engagement's only maybe an inch off the ground, which is very un Honda like for this time period. So we'll put in a, a factory spec clutch and get it so it's nice and easy to shift again. One thing I do like is that the car has all the correct VIN stickers and all the decals you're supposed to have on a car like this. Uh, so I don't believe any part of it's been repainted. Um, maybe one of the like one of the bumper covers or something like that, but uh, most of the car I believe is the original paint. So that helps. One last thing, and this is a little ridiculous, the condition of this sunroof shade, like that's just tore up. I've never seen anything like that. That's not true. But you don't often see a car this nice with <laughs> a sunshade that looks that bad. So if you pull it out, like there's tears in it and dark smudges that probably could never come out of this fabric and a whole lot of wear. So we're, that's something else you can't get from the factory is a sunroof shade. So we are gonna have to source that from someone. Um, if you know of any 
people with some of these parts like the sunroof shade or the uh, passenger side sun visor um, let us know in the comments and because we'll be looking for a set so we can get this car back to new condition you can see up here too on the leading edge of the hood there's a rubber sort of insulator thing it's got some overspray or something going on with it i don't know if the hood is resprayed at one point but that looks i don't know how exactly you would take that off and make that look new again so we might just have to reorder this rubber piece i think you still can get it from the dealership uh, so we'll do that and put that on and make it look new again so the first thing that struck me under the hood is that uh, overall it is very clean like i don't see hardly any corrosion under here except for here on the VTEC solenoid, which we'll probably end up replacing that. The brake lines are all in really nice shape. That said, there are some things that do need some attention under here. So touching up the paint here is chipped on the, or kind of worn off, yeah, I guess chipped on the valve cover. And got a little bit of some funky stuff, corrosion maybe going on on the strut tower there. You may notice the exhaust manifold cover is missing. We took that off to have that refinished already. Not even home yet, and we're already taking stuff off the car. Um, the rest of it's in fairly nice shape, but there's still a few things that will probably need to be addressed. Like this hose has a funky pinch in it. That's going to the uh, windshield washers. Um, the cruise control doesn't work. That might be something simple. Um, it could be something like a fuse, or it could be with the little uh, plastic uh, stopper that goes behind the brake pedal. So we'll check into that. The AC does work, which is good. If you know anything about old Hondas, it's kind of, <laughs> it's nice to have working AC for sure. If you look a little closer down here, uh, this came as kind of a shock to me. Um, it looks like there might be some kind of like an oil leak. Uh, very surprising. Uh, old Hondas never ever leak oil, ever, uh, from anywhere. So we'll have to dig into that and figure out what's going on. All right, it's getting late. I need to get back to the shop. Um, I'm so tired, but I'm so very excited to be digging into this. So that's it. Uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe for more, and we'll look forward to seeing you down the road. Thanks. Take care.